to Paul's Kitchen. Before we begin, please hit the share, like, subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing some coconut Asian noodles. We're uh, basically doing a dish based off what we have of, as leftovers at home, and uh, this is what we're making. So please stay tuned and hit that like button. Kitchen. This is Chef Paul. With me today is the ever smelly Chef Amy. I'll tell you a story later. But <laughs> say hi, Amy. Hi. Today we're going to do my take on Asian noodles. It's a very easy dish. It's going to be really amazing. It's going to taste really, really good. And best of all, it's cheap. And we're going to use a lot of leftovers. The only two things that we're not using as leftovers is uh, we got a can of uh, diced tomatoes with herbs and some coconut milk and two things of Asian noodles. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by, if you have noodles on your own, make them. Uh, make them as per directions. Um, we've already got those started because you don't need to see water boil. If you can't figure out how to do that, then um, I'm a little too high advanced for you and that's pretty bad. Uh, so you all know how to do that. Uh, so we're just going to start cooking this. Um, this is only going to be a four minute thing. So I'm just watching my clock here just to make sure they're fully cooked. And I'm not worried about them being too totally fully cooked because they're going into a frying pan very soon. So uh, if you don't have a lot of leftovers for veggies, uh, go buy some mushrooms, some peppers, celery, onions, uh, garlic, stuff like that. Anything you want to use on there, it's not too overly specific. It's not going to take a long time because other than the tomatoes, uh, everything's pretty much already been cooked anyways. Um, so, instant noodles, and they're not really instant noodles, but Asian noodles really don't take a whole long time to cook anyways, they're pretty quick. They're actually pretty fast, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. So this is actually going to be probably one of the quickest videos we've ever shot. It'll be like meals in minutes. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you want to spice this up a little bit, you can. However, I usually find the packet, the flavor packaging they usually gives you, uh, usually gives you more than enough. I don't really recommend going out and. Uh, doing this a whole lot because I mean a lot of it does include a lot of things like uh, salt and MSG so I mean it's not the greatest thing in the world but usually Asian noodles are pretty healthy they're pretty good uh, you know they're gonna be tasty but I mean is it filming not really but you know what you can add chicken to this uh, you can add meat to this if you want it's it's pretty good so we got one more minute left until this is gonna be happy I mean, it's really not that complex. It's not that hard. You can dump sauce in this if you really want to. We got some sweet and sour. We might do that. I don't think so, though. I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to reduce the heat in this because the next part's not going to need it. Not quite like this. So I'm going to take this out here. So I don't really want all the... Uh, all the soup part of it. We're not going to rinse it. We don't need to do that. I'm just going to dump this back in here. Amy just loves doing dishes. <laughs> Here. I'm going to put the frying pan here and then I'm going to put 
for some oil. Now I'm going to rinse this. Normally I would have already done this before I started, but whatever. You can already tell the oil is already heating up nice and good, so that's a good thing. And I'm going to use half a can. We can stick the rest of this in the fridge and use it for something else later. And the beautiful thing about this, I mean, if we didn't, if we didn't do this right now, we'd probably have to end up tossing it anyways. And um, we don't really want to do that. No, this is quite a bit of vegetables, and you know what? Nobody need, nobody wants to, uh, to waste that. It's a lot of money. It's, it's not, and at the end of the day, it's really not worth doing. I mean, does anybody really want to waste their money and? not a necessary thing. I'm just going to let this simmer here for a quick minute or two. It doesn't need to be very long. Because like I said, the only thing here that's not cooked is the coconut milk and I'm not really going to cook that. Uh, mm. The tomatoes aren't going to really take long to cook either. Uh, we're not making this into a paste at all so it's, you know what I mean, it's not it's not necessary. You can cook the noodles hours before if you really want to as well. However, I kind of feel like um, if you uh, cook them just before, they'll still be warm and they'll save some of the flavor too. So you don't you want to you want to make sure that you that you're preserving some of the flavor, most of the flavor as much as you can, anyways. Take the noodles in here and then we're going to give it a nice good stir in. Sometimes if you have uh, a lot of veggies but you don't have a lot of noodles, uh, I'm sure you can find lots of pat noodle packs around the kitchen usually. It doesn't really take a whole lot. The noodles are pretty quick. I mean they're not... Instant noodles are pretty quick. They're not long they don't take a lot four minutes yeah usually at that some of them not even that some of them a little longer but whatever doesn't really take you all a long time to do that but the root of the at the end of the day you really want to make sure you mix everything in really good and then just because i want some flavor in here because i like coconut he was kind of hoping I would use that on liver for her, but... No! <laughs> How's that look, Amy? Excellent! Now you can dump some hot sauce in this if you want. You can dump more spices in, that's totally up to you. You are the, uh... You are your own uh, chef in your kitchen. This is just a good, you know, groundwork idea, you know, how to do. Now, is this a perfect Asian noodle dish? No. I might dump a little fish sauce, might make it a little bit more Asian. Um, you find in a lot of their cuisine that something they really like to do. Nothing wrong with it, it's actually really good. Um, I don't, just don't think we have any right now, so I'm not going to bother. But the root of the more the root of the story is this is a lot of leftovers. We don't want to toss them out. We want them used. Um, so this is what we're going to do with it. And this is going to be a pretty good dinner, I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Amy? Yeah, it looks good. Veggies are always a good thing, and we're pretty much done. So that's it. So I mean, you don't need to see us eating it. So I mean, I think that's pretty good. So, 
That's it. So uh, please, in the meantime, hit the like, share, subscribe button, check our website, www.pouls-kitchen.club. Don't forget to check our Patreon page. Like I said, uh, for the remainder of the entire month, we are giving any of our donations to our friends in Ukraine. Uh, it's a little slow in there, and I'm also noticing on our uh, Google Analytics, we have a lot of viewers, but we don't have a lot of people subscribed. Please do us a favor, just hit that subscribe button, please hit like, it really helps us out a lot. Uh, we really do appreciate everybody that does that for us because it, it helps us. Uh, so and until next time, please uh, stay safe, stay out of COVID and enjoy. Good morning, thanks for uh, watching that video and again I uh, urge you to hit the like, share, subscribe button uh, to continue watching more videos. <clears throat> As it stands right now. Uh, with my wife being in Ontario for a little while, uh, we're taking a little bit of break on the videos because I don't really have a camera person. I also need to replace some equipment. However, uh, for the next little bit, I'm going to continue making some videos. It won't be as good because, unfortunately, I have to film myself. So I appreciate all your support and everything else. We're not closed. We're not done. It's just going to be slowed down a little bit. Uh, but I do have something serious I want to discuss. Uh, I just started a new job which I had to leave because of a lot of harassment by management uh, and a lot of poor decision making. Uh, the root of it is we have a trainer named EJ. Uh, very racist, uh, likes to push her personal religion around, very abusive. Uh, to S2G's uh, credit, they did uh, remove her from class, and I'm not sure 100% if she was fired or reassigned somewhere else. Uh, it's not my business to know that. However, a lot of damage has been done. I've taken a couple seizures because of her stress-related, among a lot of other health issues. But there's something worse. Our good friend Jamie is in the hospital right now unconscious from a stroke and he's been this way for about a week they said that if he was any older he'd be impelled of care that's pretty scary the hospital also had um, um, I'm not sure the right way to say this uh, but there's contamination with COVID in his room so they're treating him as if he's got COVID which means he's on isolation. He has a wife and two kids. I believe he has kids anyways. Um, she can't go visit him. She can't be at his side. And because of EJ and S2G, he took a stroke. Now with all this harassment and everything that went on and it was brutal and anybody in the class will tell you the same thing that happened. He lost his temper with her after she was being extremely abusive to him and uh, he basically told her off. He wasn't violent, he didn't threaten her, he just, he just gave her a good piece of his mind which everybody would agree is what we all wanted to do. He was just the first one to say it. He does have a legit mental illness and S2G basically said they didn't care and they fired him. As a result of all this abuse and racism, Jamie took a massive stroke. He's in his early 40s, married with children. Financially, they're struck right now. Um, it's a very horrific situation and right now I would like to ask if anybody is willing I'm putting links on my personal Facebook page I'm also putting links on my site and our Facebook group for his GoFundMe page and I would ask if anybody is willing please donate uh, this is a very hard time and there's a lot more drama going on that I don't know that the family really wants really so I won't go into it but there's a lot going on and every bit helps um, I also have a place that you could do donate on our website www.pouls-kitchen.club we have our Patreon page there uh, and for the next while 
until this family is back up and running and everything's safe and secure and we don't nobody has to worry about them anymore and it may take a while maybe a year maybe two maybe more who knows but we at Paul's Kitchen is going to give everything that we get from the Patreon page back to this family to help them survive so I ask you guys very uh, sincerely from the bottom of my heart please uh, please donate uh, if you'd rather talk to the wife and um, and you'd rather donate directly to her, uh, let me know and I'll put you in contact with her and uh, set something up that way. Uh, they're a very lovely couple. Uh, Jamie is a really good guy. He's uh, he's a really kind-hearted soul and I wouldn't necessarily do this for just anybody. Uh, I'm suffering as well. We have a lot of people out there who are suffering and need help. Uh, our last thing we did was helping the people that were victimized in Ukraine by the Russians. Uh, now this one's going to hit a little further to home to me because he's a really good guy, very loving, very good husband, uh, very generous, very free giving of, of himself. Uh, and now as much as he's given of himself throughout time, he's the one that needs it right now and especially his kids and his wife. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, but thank you for watching, and um, please pay it a sight there. Please hit like, share, subscribe, and I uh, hope to uh, make another video soon.